everyone, welcome back to another Shiny Bright Doggo video. Today, Laura and I are heading to the thrift store. We're hoping to find some vintage Christmas or vintage Halloween. Maybe even some toys, some vintage toys. Or some books. Yeah. So let's head on in the car and go. Look at this push cart. This is like perfect for the flea market. You can put all your finds in there and then you can put more finds in there and you can put your coffee in there too. How much is it? 40. 40 bucks. Why? It's Why? A, it's heavy duty. I don't know. Why? Heavy duty. I don't know about that. 40 bucks. Heavy duty. Jeez Louise. Janine, you left a dinosaur. Is that your dinosaur? No. Um, did you just find a fountain? Yes. Signed. March and $4.99. Little cat. Yeah, it looks like a little amethyst like birthday yeah. one, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Janine find in the Fenton, which I believe you sold a similar one before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna get it if I check out that it's not damaged in any way. Nice find. Yeah. Speaking of nice finds. They're Bijons. Oh, 1988. Janine, look, it's Bijou. I can't see you. Oh, it looks just like her. <laughs> <laughs> it's also, Janine, it's the same brand um, Poppy has, my grandfather has, from 1988. Oh my goodness. I love it. It weighs so much. It's so heavy. It looks like Bijou. There's another one, too. There's also this one. <laughs> this also looks like beige. It's eight dollars. I think I like the other one more. But I also just spotted this little bunny guy. This little bunny guy. He's only three dollars. Somebody should save him. What do you find there? Little bunny and another beige. Oh. He's in there. Orange. So it's fifty off. Oh yeah. He'd be $1.50. But look, it's another beige. Oh, this is <laughs> This is nice. This little like jewelry case thing. That's older too. Oh, and there's there. gross things in there. Hmm, we'll close that up. Janine found a fun Frankenstein. Oh, it's 2004 Target. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Almost vintage, which is slightly terrifying. <laughs> it's cool though. No, it is cool. Next time, not this coming Halloween, but next year's Halloween. When it's a technically vintage? When it's technically vintage. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll pick it up. What is that? It's a turtle. It's a turtle with holes. I don't know what it's for. Ashtray. Marked something. Marked something. Marked Western Germany. Frogs. Name the artist. Name the artist. Oh, uh, Van Gogh, of course. Yes, you're Vincent, right. Mr. Vincent. What'd you find? New kids on the block. Oh, wow. Pillowcase? Yeah. $20. And they even put the little tag right on it. That's pretty cool, though. 1990. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's in great condition. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Wait, Janine, look at him. I love him. $8. Isn't that fantastic? Um, he's a special he's a special thing. He is. He's only $8. Whoever painted him did a fantastic job. Is this Precious Moments? Probably not. Interesting. No, definitely not. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Look, Janine, I just found right here a, um, a West Clock. Mm -hmm. $6. Definitely vintage. Definitely needs a cleaning. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And I also found these little glasses. I thought they were snails, but I think they're cats or foxes. And they do have a marking on the bottom. But I don't Very know what they are. So I'm going to try my best to lift them up. They are $2.99 for the bag. Interesting, right? Can I look? Yeah. They almost look... I mean, they're obviously Marauders, glass. 
that would be great i don't know i have no clue there's a signature and 04 on the bottom so i tried google lens nothing really popped up so i'm gonna try some ebay searching hmm tricky very tricky i just love fish what oh i didn't even realize i was wearing this shirt <laughs> just like not not even fishing just like fish just fish 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 things like the shape of a fish hmm look at this shining an old eeyore oh yeah an old eeyore and a pig and something else oh look at this troll eight dollars it's big yeah it's got a different face to it too doesn't it Mark 1991. Very interesting. I'm not gonna pick it up, but cool. And there's a Taz right in that bag right here. I'm just spotting them. You are. Aren't you? Look at this one. Betty spaghetti, spaghetti, but like her friends or a knockoff? No, it's her. I th oh yeah, look, those are actual Betty Spaghetti's heads, and then and a friendly spaghetti. A friendly spaghetti. I don't know if those are friendly spaghetti's or actual knockoffs. Or you know what? They have like rope hair. So they might have been a later iteration. Wow! I can't believe there's so Betty exciting. Spaghetti's. Yeah. That is really exciting. You know, I've always wanted to find them at the thrift. Four dollars for the bag is great. I mean, these actually don't surprisingly, well, surprising to me, don't have a great resale value this on is eBay. Betty spaghetti stuff. Oh, that's fun. That's really fun. I was like, what's this dog? And it has Betty spaghetti oh hair on it. Betty doggy Betty's, Betty's, Betty's doggy spaghetti. Oh, that's really fun. Yeah, they don't have a huge resale value, but I mean, if you can lot it up like this with like some accessories that are harder to find, it doesn't do too bad. But that's so fun. Wow, $4. How much is that bag? $3. But you get all her little, her little suitcase and stuff with the beads. And the, imagine the dog is the dog. Like, yeah, it might be by. might be worth looking up on its own. Yeah, cool. Here's another Betty Spaghetti friend another and a, another bag. Yeah, but it's got a bunch of other things mixed in with it. Still fun though. There's a troll right there. Yeah, I saw that. Do you need diploma dogs? The game that makes learning fun. I suddenly need to play Diploma Dogs. Are you talking to me? Yes, I am talking to you. I need to play Diploma Dogs <laughs> immediately. Would you help me open this box, please? It's been here for a little while. Has it? It's almost last week, yeah. Are all the little Diploma Dogs in there? I don't know. 1986? Oh my god, what is this? I want an official Diploma Dog diploma. Wow, are the diploma dogs in here? I need to know. Hold on. <gasps> oh, there's, I just want the diploma dogs. Geography dog. Wow, Science dog. Been here a while, math so dog. See how much it is. How much is it? Relax, relax. <laughs> getting so excited. I don't know where the sticker is. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's over here. It's blue. So it's 75% off it's 75 off seventy five percent off $6. And if these dogs are worth that to you. I don't know, but look at them. They've they got their little backpacks. Little, they carry their little things. Language dog. Oh, no. <laughs> it seems like a very involved game, though. It seems like you might have to study. To over 25,000 sold. I find that hard to believe. It there says... Wow, what a great game. I'm a mother of four and I'm a teacher of many. I use this game in my classroom and I love it. We love diploma dogs. Well, diploma dogs is going into the cart for just a second. This looks older, like an older, um, dinosaur? Cookie Monster. Oh, Cookie Monster? See, my mind. Yeah, you want it? I'm just curious if there's a date on him. Doesn't he look older? I don't know. I actually don't know. Oh, it doesn't say. Interesting. I don't know. I just thought it was shorter. I just pulled this plush out of the pile, and he stood out to me because he's like very Japanese Sanrio anime looking, and his name is Mashi Maro, I think. He might be vintage, and he may be worth something. The comps are all over the place. Um, very interesting. But I think I'm gonna put him in the cart. 
he's only 99 cents he's actually 75 cents looks like the tag was ripped off at one point but interesting enough for me to put it in the cart and do more um searching oh it's strawberry baby strawberry, baby strawberry. interesting i just found this plush janine might be vintage like a mm, San Rio type Rio, thing yeah. yeah so i gotta look more into that i found something really fun and cool and nostalgic so my older sister loved barbies had all the accessories and look what they have they're like the sparking rollerblades they're like oh, spark set fun and look at the crest toothpaste all their oh, barbies 99 cents fun that's a great. Is it all Barbie? For the most I'm part? sure. Yeah. Look. Yeah. It's Bar Malibu Barbie or something. Oh yeah, like 80s there. Barbie for sure. That's pretty cool. It's like the McDonald's outfit. Oh my gosh. This is like Skipper, right? Yeah. Look at that. She's working at McDonald's, and I just found this bag right here. Look at this little plush in here. Looks older, right? This um bunny. Yeah. Got a cute little face, and this other doll in here looks older too like a holly hobby type yeah interesting right i don't think they're anything in particular but pretty cool and then i thought i saw another vintage barbie here janine am i just envisioning that that one oh, over there have, yeah there's like a lot of um like 80s and 90s older barbies, barbies right yeah yep. this one right here is the one i saw These two yeah look at that uh makeup she's got on yep pretty cool look janine a bop it hmm? a bop it Bop it 2000? Bop it. What is this? This and is like, like the selling other one. the Bop it's. I don't know which one that is. Like that a Bop the, it? The you... original one. It's better. Mm, Teresa. What have you got there? Is that for, like, for the pink Power Ranger. Oh, really? I would think so, yeah. Oh, yeah, it sort of looks like it. Is it older? Yeah, I think it's from 1994, 95. Cool. And the bag is $3. Yeah. And this is so. Oh, my gosh. Old school, huh? That's pretty cool. Wow. What is that? It's a little, a little, little black, black dog, dog holding a little tiny pumpkin. Oh, it's so cute. Isn't it? Yeah, I love that. It's Six dollars and it's half three, off. Three dollars. Cute. Torn on getting Mashimoto. Like, I don't know if he's worth 60 bucks and he might just sit on eBay forever and sell for like 15 and I don't know what to do with him. What's up, Janine? Tell That's us. Something very interesting. Yeah. First of all, I saw this like Burton Ernie's or whatever, and then I like started looking, and they're like all like Jim Henson little things, and this one says Starbucks Coffee Company, made exclusively for Starbucks, and it's the Swedish chef from the Muppets. Oh, interesting. That's weird. Can I see him? Yeah, it's really interesting. This oh, guy right here. Right? Yeah, he's from the Muppets. Yeah, it's made, made for Starbucks. Starbucks. His little puppet. Swedish chef. There's two in a series of two. Interesting. Isn't it? It is a very interesting bag you got here. What's this little guy, Smiley? Also, Jim Henson. Yeah, this little guy. Mm -hmm. Interesting, Janine. Very interesting little bag. Maybe I'll look that up on uh, eBay for you and see what pops up. Oh, okay. So yeah, it looks like Starbucks did a collaboration with uh, Muppets, Jim Henson, Jim Henson um, back in 2003. They're really not worth much. Even with the tag, he's only worth like $12, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Look at this, Janine. Wow. The birth of Christ. Yeah, this is... This is... How old is this? I would like a date on this, please. I don't know if we're gonna get one. Oh, 1961. Wow. Wow. And it ends up here. That's wild for $2. <laughs> That's crazy. It's pretty cool. Oh, look, Nightmare Before Christmas, 25 years. Is this a puzzle? Yeah. That's pretty cool, Jay. Mm. 25 year anniversary puzzle? Yeah. Wow. That's older, yeah. yeah it's metal. Metal Tonka truck. Tonka truck. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ten dollars? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Look at this like giant Tweety backpack. This is older. It's like not it's yellow. So cool. In person, it's like gray yellow. So I don't really want to touch it. But that's that's cool, I guess. That's that's something. Oh God.
Oh, what'd you find? I found a 99 cent McCoy planter. Wow. It's marked McCoy on the bottom, as you can see. Yeah, it looks like an older one. Maybe. I don't know too much about McCoy. No idea. Basket weave, I think you could look up. It's a cute little planter, regardless. It is. That's why I looked at it. I also, like, I feel like we're in, like, glass, like, um, like territory thing. today, which I'm like, is this Murano? Like not <laughs> I have no like... idea. So, we my, don't... uh, dear friend here looked it up yes for just me. a friend just a friend <laughs> um yes this mccoy little planter is i believe like a basket weave type which is why i searched on ebay and then do a little ebay search it's like a 20 dollar planter shipped Gotta clean or actually it up. not even you could probably do 20 plus shipping on this one 15 to 20 plus shipping on this i mean for 99 cents it's a no-brainer it's really cute great find Jaden. thanks oh my god is that something it actually it's like a it's a light, light but it's like is it? I don't know, it's sort of really cool. No markings, but we might as well do a little searchy poo. She's tapping it. No, it's pretty cool actually. Does it have a chip? A little chip. A little chip, a little yeah. chip. Interesting. It is interesting. It's a light cover? Yeah, potentially. Hmm. Think someone painted it? Sort of it? cool. I don't know, I have no idea. Janine just found some Benjamin Moore paint swatches. They look older too. I mean, it's wild. You search things on eBay and you're like, why did this sell for $300? But then you're like, I'll buy it. Not that these sold for $300. I have no idea. You didn't even look these up. But I guess my point is that, like, you never know. Mm. You never know. No. Just like this. I don't think I'll ever know what this is. I can't find anything out about it. Yeah, maybe a hobby piece? Maybe. It's pretty cool. I'm going to put it back. This is sort of cool, too, actually, now that I'm looking at it right here. Interesting handle. Looks very deco. It looks also like tilted permanently. And there is a mark. Pain. Interesting. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. I'm not saying that I went to an estate sale the other day and got something really exciting to show you guys in our upcoming video, but let's just say there's a reason that those signs are propped up like that. Oh, don't look, don't look. So Janine, what did you get at the thrift store? I got some fun items. Let me just take them out of the bag. I picked up two of these miscellaneous Barbie accessory bags. They were 99 cents each. And I already started sorting the other bag and I have nine, actually 10 pairs of Barbie shoes and one pair of Barbie roller skates. Um, so I think that's like already a good buy because if you look on eBay, you can sell some Barbie shoes for like eight to $15 a set or you can even- Like a pair? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, or you can even lot them up and sell them that way. Um, Obviously, some are more desirable than others, so I will do a bit of research and find out if I have any that are desirable on their own, or I'll just lot up a bunch of shoes and sell them that way. But I think for $2, all of these accessories and the shoes, everything, I think I'm going to do pretty well. Um, stuff like this, it doesn't make a ton of money, but it's fun for me to resell it. It's just, I don't know, silly little things I like to sell, you know? Yeah, and I mean, when you're getting them for that inexpensive like yeah. selling you know five pairs for ten dollars each mm -hmm. even if your margin your profit is like six dollars that's still like 30 bucks made so yeah. it so, adds up yeah it's and it, cool. it's fun it's something also that i get to learn about as well like it has some baywatch accessories mm -hmm. like maybe those accessories are worth something on their own i'm gonna have fun looking all that up and if any of you guys know anything about like 80s and 90s barbie accessories if there's anything that you should look out for that resells really well please let us know in the comments because i don't know i think that would be really fun to like start looking into all right guys i just got back from the gym and i was like janine i didn't get anything for this haul but she was like wait laura you did you got those cats and i completely forgot i picked up the bag of these two glass cats for three dollars and if you flip them over it does have a marking i spent quite a long time trying to figure out hard to see it maker. but hopefully you can kind of see it there it took me a while mm -hmm. i started searching things like sleeping cat glass paperweight swirl colored cat you know we even thought they might be foxes at one point yeah at first i thought they were snails <laughs> but they're definitely cats and they're made by a company called nunwell glass and i did a little bit of research into them and 
I think this company, like their thing is these sleeping cats. How cute. Um, I believe these are from 2004 and they resell for like 50-ish dollars. Um, so I was really surprised by that. I think they're really cute paperweights. Um, and yeah, we learn a little bit of stuff about glass just by picking them up when we have a hunch about them, but we don't know a lot about glass. It's definitely not our um, specialty or expertise. We know there's Murano to look out for. There's a bunch of different Fenton, right? Stuff to look out for, but um, I've never heard of this Nunwall company, um, but these are available on eBay right now. I'm hoping somebody will pick them up and give them a new home. They're really cool looking and they made a couple of versions. There's a solid version and a swirl or patterned version. And the ones like this that have multicolors are a bit more valuable. So this was a really exciting pickup. And I wasn't the only one who found some glass cats today. And here's my glass cat. <laughs> <laughs> so I found this Fenton cat um, pretty much right away at the thrift store. Yeah. And it was only marked $4.99, I think. Let's do it for me. Yeah, $4.99, which is a great price. And it does look like maybe it has like amethyst birthstone kind of look there. I have sold like a birthstone cat before or birth month cat by Fenton. And it had the same like uh, collar with the rhinestones. So maybe this is February amethyst. Um, I didn't look it up. I'll put a screenshot right here of what this should sell for. It's really cute and pretty. I really like how pretty little faces. She's got like that pearl essence look to yeah. her. I think she's a cute cat. I also found one other thing. I found this McCoy planter and I was actually kind of surprised that um, it was only 99 cents and it's worth like $15 mm -hmm. plus shipping on eBay, which for this little small planter, I was actually pretty impressed by. It needs a little bit of cleaning because it definitely did have a plant in there. You can see but let me pull the sticker off the bottom. Great find, Janine, and nice little size to be able to ship off if you want yeah. to resell it. It's really nice. It has that like basket weave look, or maybe it's called that. Again, we're not like pottery and glass people, so we're just learning about this stuff, but you know, it's fun to find it because we don't normally find it, and when we do, we get to learn more, and who doesn't love learning? We found some pretty fun and different things today, didn't we, Laura? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We hope you enjoyed. And if you did, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. Um, we are almost at 13,000 subscribers, wow. right, Laura? Oh, yeah, that's... We're, like, very close. Awesome. To 13,000. So. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. And thanks for joining us today. See you next time. Bye. 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 Oh, what? Are we going garbage picking tomorrow? <sighs> I don't know. We'll talk. We'll talk. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.